Hi friends, today we are going to start the parts of speech, which is the most important part of English grammar. I assure you, if you can have a good knowledge, if you can have a good idea, if you can build up a good concept about this part, that is part of speech, you will be able to have a good knowledge of English grammar. So without wasting any time, let's start part of speech with me, your English teacher, Sandeep Banerjee. There are eight parts of the speech. Now, pronoun, adjective, adverb, preposition, consumption, interpretation, and verb. Now, why I have written this part at the end? Because it is the most important part. It is the most important part among all these parts of the So, I am going to start with the first part, that is now. Now means, as you all know, that any name of a particular person or an animal or a thing, idea, okay, all these are nouns. A noun can be like uh, Shumutra is a good word. So the word Shumutra is a noun. As we identify the particular name, New Delhi is the capital of our country. So New Delhi is the noun because it is referring to a particular city or a particular place. Now our national Tiger. So tiger is the noun as it is referring to a particular animal. Now most importantly, any idea is an abstract. Abstract means what? Which which cannot be changed, which cannot be charged, it can only be changed. For example, honesty is the best point. Now the word honesty is a good example of abstract. Because Honesty is something which we cannot see, which we cannot touch. But yes, we can see that this boy is honest, that girl is honest. Okay. So the second part is pronoun. Now I made it as a brother of noun. These are two brothers. The elder brother is noun, the younger is pronoun. Now what is the work of pronoun? The work of the pronoun is which represents the noun. For an example, Sumutra is a good boy. Shumutra loves to go to school. Shumutra loves to play cricket. Every time you think Shumutra, Shumutra, Shumutra is something which, uh, which is very uh, uh, not something in a proper way. So in that case, if we can use the pronoun, like Shumutra is a good boy, he loves to go to school, he loves to play cricket. So this he is a pronoun, which is representing the noun. Now, after that, we are having adjective. Adjective means adjective has only one function. That is, it describes the noun. Describes means it tells about the noun. Okay, like Shumutra is a good boy. Okay, so the word who, Shumutra is a good boy, he loves to go to school. So in this sentence, he is the pronoun, which is representing the noun Shumutra. Now there are many kinds of nouns, there are many kinds of pronouns, there are many kinds of adjectives, adverbs, okay, that we are going to discuss in the next class. So for today, I am just going to make an introduction with you about all these eight parts of speech. So the third one is adjective. Now what is an adjective? Adjective is a part of speech which describes a noun, which tells something about a noun. Like Ravi is a good boy. Ravi is a good boy. So the word good is an adjective which is describing the noun boy. Okay? One thing I want to add here, always remember that in most of the cases, in most of the cases, not in all the cases, in most of the cases, adjective is placed along with the noun. Okay? Suppose Shamutra uh, is a good boy. I am writing this. See, Samudra is a good boy. Now if I ask you which one is the adjective, you can easily say that this one is the adjective. Now if I ask you that which noun is described here, maximum of the students will say Samudra. It is wrong. It is wrong. The right answer will be boy. Boy is the noun which is described by this adjective good. So always remember that in most of the cases, 
adjective and noun are placed together not in all cases in maximum cases now adverb the most important function of adverb is that it describes the verb okay in certain cases it also describes an adjective it also describes an adverb itself but importantly it describes a verb okay then preposition preposition means for an example the cat is under the table the cat is under the table the cat is the subject or we can say the cat is the noun uh, table is also the noun so when the cat is it on the table or under the table it is under the table so the definition of preposition is that preposition is the word which makes a relation or which shows the relation between a noun and another noun or between a noun and an adjective or between a noun and any other thing okay there are many examples of prepositions like on in at to so there are many pre prepositions but today as i told you that i am going to introduce you with all the parts of speech the brief explanations will be given to you in the next class so we have congestion now congestion means a bridge okay when we travel by train when we travel by train we often see bridges okay so what is the function of a bridge can you tell me so guys if you like our videos i have a request for you you have to do four things like comment subscribe and press the bell icon thank you yes the function of the bridge is that it connects two places it connects two places it connects two stations so in the similar way conjunction act like a bridge it connects two sentences examples although but and because okay there are many more examples interjection interjection means a word which is used to express sudden feelings to express sudden emotions for example hooray india has won the match the word hooray is an example of interjection alas 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 is a word which shows a sudden expression of sadness so alas is also an example of interjection what as i told you that this is the most important part among all the parts of speech i didn't mean that all the parts of speech are less important no all the parts of speech are important but this one is little bit more important okay so what is action words what is doing words okay what is something which shows position what is something which shows a state of a person or a thing so there are many various kind of definition of car and they are very interesting but those definitions we will do in the next class so far i can say that what is an action word okay suppose samudra is playing cricket so is playing or the car okay so these are the are eight parts of speech which i have introduced to you in the next class i will be starting with the explanations of all these parts of speech okay i hope you enjoyed the class thank you god bless you